Good evening, as it's Ash Wednesday, the beginning of Lent, I've already read the first reading from Joel and the Psalm 50. I'm going to continue with the Ash Wednesday reading. I will do um, a reading from St. Paul to the Corinthians and the Gospel according to Matthew 6. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 5. We are ambassadors of Christ. It is as though God were appealing through us. And the appeal that we make in Christ's name is be reconciled to God. For our sake, God made the sinless one into sin, so that in him we might become the goodness of God. As his fellow workers, we beg you once again not to neglect the grace of God that you have received. For he says, at the favourable time, I have listened to you. On the day of salvation, I came to your help. Well, now is the favourable time. This is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. The Gospel Acclamation. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. A pure heart create for me, O God, and give me again the joy of your help. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be careful not to parade your good deeds before men to attract their notice. By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right is doing. Your almsgiving must be secret, and your Father, who sees all that is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers, standing up in the synagogues, and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you pray, go to your private room. And when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in that secret place. And your Father who sees all that is done in secret, will reward you. When you do fast, do not put on a gloomy look as the hypocrites do. They pull long faces to let men know they are fasting. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head Wash your face so that no one will know you are fasting except your Father who sees all that is done in secret and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. O God who desire not the death of sinners but their conversion, mercifully hear our prayers and in your kindness be pleased to bless us with no ashes today. 
which we intend to receive upon our heads, and we acknowledge we are but ashes and shall return to dust, may through a steadfast observance of Lent gain pardon for sins and newness of life, after the likeness of your risen Son, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Thank you for listening, and may God bless you and heal you. And I'm sending you God's peace in abundance and be happy and joyful in the Lord always. Amen.